Hello. Hi, is this Sherry? It is. Hi, Hi. Sherry. Oh, boy. You, you sound annoyed. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, I'm at work. Can I help you? Uh, yeah, it's Brian and Chrissy calling from radio station GNA 107.7. How are you? I, good. Uh, we're good. Sorry. We, so the reason why we're calling is because we got a really nice email from a woman named Melissa Irish. Oh, okay. I know Melissa, yes. What do you, how do you know Melissa? Um, I'm a co-worker of hers. Okay. Uh, well, she like sings your praises. She uh, She wrote into WGNA just so that... We could talk about you and how amazing you are on the radio. Oh, that was very nice of her. <laughs> I'll tell her thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, what do you do, Sherry? Where do you work? I work for um, the Adirondack Day Program. Um, I take care of physically and mentally handicapped individuals. I've been doing it for over 30 years. Wow. Um, at the Day Program building, we help them to continue with like having art and music and, of course, their daily care stuff and um, community inclusion to make sure they get into the community and the community knows them. Well, the reason why we're, we're calling is because your friend Melissa was singing your praises to us via an email. And I don't know if, you know, this extends far beyond what you do, like professionally, or if it's just the work that you do on your own time. But she described you as a person who always finds a way to help her fellow community members in the time of need. I'm assuming that's work, but also, you know, just getting out and about in your own hometown of Corinth and, and helping people there as well. Do you do that kind of stuff? Oh, yes, definitely. Well, you know, this lady I worked with years ago, Mary King, she was a housekeeper here. She always said um, that in, in, somebody's, in the name of somebody that has passed away, like my brother or my mother or whatever, like that, you try to do a good deed a day. Hmm. And then we recent, recently in our community lost Ashley Rosenbrock and her daughter Vivian before that. And it's kind of stuck with all of us for years and years that we just try to do a good deed a day. It could be opening a door, just smiling at somebody or just something simple if you can, you know, and it just honors your the person maybe you lost in your life, oh, a relative or a that. sibling or whatever. Did you do your good deed today, Sherry? Or was that answering this phone call, <laughs> I feel like? I'm not quite sure I have done a good deed yet today, but I've still got a ways to go. So. Well, well, here's the thing. We're, we're going to wrap it up. We're not going to keep you forever. But um, Melissa nominated you uh, to be our March WGNA Hometown Hero, which is an opportunity for us every month to highlight somebody in and around the Capital Region that's doing wow. extra. And so you are this month, you're the month of March's hometown hero. Oh, fantastic. Thank you. <laughs> I'm embarrassed. Yeah, no, don't be embarrassed. That's <laughs> wonderful. 30 plus years and you also help out in the community. And we're, we're honored to be even talking to you. Thank you very much, you guys. You're awesome. We listen to you on our bus all the time. We just got a new radio on there because our guys Aww. like to listen to the radio when we're bringing them to and from. <laughs> well, that's Aww, awesome. That's so nice. Is there anybody that you want to shout out on the bus in case they hear this? Dennis, or um, I can't give the individual's no. names, but just, we're just rocking the bus. Stacy Wilkinson, she's yep. our staff, Gail Williams. We all get them jamming on the bus. We kind of look like if anybody sees us go by, we look a little crazy because <laughs> we're it. rocking out on the bus to the tune. Sherry, congrats on being our hometown hero. Now go do your good deed for the day, all right? right? Please. Get okay, on that, thank girl. you guys very much. You guys do a great job every day. We'd love to listen to you. Thank you.